The narrative surrounding the BMW 7 Series has traditionally been lukewarm, often suggesting it's decent but not exceptional compared to the Mercedes-Benz S-Class. However, when approaching the latest iteration, the 7th generation G70, one might be inclined to uphold this sentiment, albeit with a tweak, perhaps changing bit funny looking to, OMG, WTF is BMW smoking? The truth is, the new 7 Series, particularly the i7M70 variant we're discussing, is undeniably unconventional in appearance. Its front end is startling, to say the least. Yet, if you can overlook its eccentric design, which admittedly is easier said than done, the BMW i7 M70 emerges as the premier large luxury car currently available. However, there's a caveat. What's it all about? This car is massive, stretching nearly 18 feet in length with a wheelbase of 126.6 inches, surpassing even the longest Bentley currently in production, the Flying Spur interestingly. Its wheelbase matches that of the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, though the BMW is slightly longer overall. It's also comparable to the Benz EUS electric sedan and wheelbase, differing only by 0.2 inches. Additionally, the BMW i7 M70 weighs a staggering 3 tons, 6,115 pounds, to be precise, making it heavier than the aforementioned Bentley and even the Rolls-Royce Ghost. It's essentially weightier than everything that isn't a massive truck or SUV. Even the Mercedes-AMG EQS sedan, its closest competitor on paper, falls short at 5,923 pounds. While weight is typically a crucial factor in vehicle evaluations, particularly for performance cars, it's less of a concern in the realm of luxury cars, SUVs, EVs, or large trucks, all of which tend to be absurdly heavy. Criteria that the i7M70 fulfills in two out of three categories. The M70 distinguishes itself from the lesser i7 models, the E-Drive 50 and X-Drive 60, in several key aspects. Similar to the 536 horsepower X-Drive 60, the M70 features all-wheel drive AWD, while the 449 horsepower E-Drive 50 is rear-wheel drive. Despite the confusing nomenclature, clearly, naming cars is no easy feat. The E-Drive 50 and X-Drive 60 share the same rear motor, while the X-Drive 60 and M70 share a 255 horsepower front motor. However, the M70 boasts its own larger, more potent, and M-Division-tuned 483 horsepower rear motor. In total, the M70 boasts an impressive 650 combined horsepower. The M70 churns out 749 lbft of torque as its standard output, yet it can ramp up to 811 lbft in brief 10-second bursts of overboost. To put that in perspective, 811 lbft matches the torque output of the now-defunct Bentley Molson speed. A moment of silence for our fallen friend. Furthermore, BMW claims a maximum EPA-rated range of 291 miles. Though our real-world testing clocks it at 277 miles on the Motor Trend Road Trip Range Test, still an impressive 95% of the EPA figure. In terms of sheer acceleration, the i7M70 doesn't disappoint. While BMW asserts a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 3.5 seconds, our own test team observed a blistering 3.2 second sprint. That's on par with the agility of some high-performance EVs. For instance, the Rivian R1T pickup truck on off-road tires hits the same mark. But to achieve this in a spacious luxury sedan boasting reclining, massaging rear seats and a fold-down 34-inch rear entertainment screen is downright remarkable. For comparison, the Bentley Flying Spur Speed, with its 626 horsepower 6.0 liter W, 12 engine, takes 3.6 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour. While the 750 horsepower AMG EQS achieves it in a mere 3.0 seconds. In the quarter mile dash, the BMW clocks in at 11.5 seconds at 122.4 miles per hour slightly ahead of the Bentley's 11.9 seconds at 120.0 miles per hour. Though the AMG EQS clinches victory with an 11.4 second run at 118.1 miles per hour. Given their hefty weights, all three vehicles boast commendable braking performance, with both the spur speed and the M70 needing 109 feet to stop from 60 miles per hour, while the AMG EQS requires just two feet more. Now, on handling. On paper and according to our figure 8 test, both the AMG EQS and the Bentley outshine the M70. 
Clocking in at 24.2 seconds, they navigate our course with impressive agility, a performance comparable to the likes of the BMW M2 Manual and Aston Martin DBX 707, which achieved 24.1 second laps. In contrast, the i7 M70 falls slightly behind, posting a lap time of 24.7 seconds, just 0.2 seconds slower than a Honda Civic Type R. However, it's important to keep these results in perspective. Despite its figure 8 performance, the i7 M70 proves to be a far more engaging driver's car than its lap time would suggest. Subjectivity Two incidents serve to illustrate this point vividly. The first occurred on the racetrack during filming for an episode of the Motor Trend original head two head drag race at the streets of Willow. Here, we pitted the M70 against a stunning pale emerald Bentley flying spur speed. While neither my co-host Jeff Glucker nor I are professional drivers, we boast significant amateur racing experience. I took the wheel of the Bentley while he piloted the BMW. Surprisingly, Jeff clocked a lap time around streets that was nearly two seconds quicker than mine, despite forgetting to disable the M70's traction control. While dubbing a race between a $359,000 Bentley and a $195,000 BMW, well, $194,695, to be precise, but who's counting? As representative of the real world might give one pause, the BMW emerged as the clear winner. However, the most pertinent and astonishing, and I must admit, still somewhat surprising, experience occurred during a canyon drive in the i7 M70. Following the closure of a significant section of the renowned Angeles Crest Highway due to last year's Southern California storms, I opted for an alternative route via a road known as Upper Big Tahunga Canyon, a fast, expansive stretch affectionately dubbed Nine Mile by locals. Just as I was about to make the turn on to Nine Mile, a Hockenheim Silver Metallic F87M2 competition flashed its grill at me, prompting me to yield. Yet, for reasons unknown, I decided to test whether the M70 could keep pace. Nine miles later, I had my answer. It certainly could. Was I pushing the limits? Undoubtedly, but the large BMW handled it with aplomb. Once again, it never skipped a beat. I managed to catch up with the owner, Danny, and inquired about his level of exertion. His response? About eight and a half, maybe nine tenths. Any faster, and he would have occupied two lanes. Furthermore, he shared my incredulity at the fact that such an admittedly peculiar-looking behemoth could perform so admirably. So, there you have it, a three-ton Electroluxo barge holding its own against a well-driven sports car on a spirited road. Danny found it hard to believe, and as I stepped out and surveyed the colossal BMW, I couldn't help but share in his disbelief, despite being the one behind the wheel. Anecdotal? Certainly. However, having spent time in both of the aforementioned rivals, the AMG EUS and the opulent Bentley, I can attest that the BMW not only drives better but is also more enjoyable. Why the disparity between our figure 8 times and the real-world driving experience? The figure 8 test is tailored to quantify a vehicle's braking, acceleration, and handling at the limit, not its overall character on the open road. The conclusion. Are there down Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.